Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. It's been nine months in Canada and I was just having this conversation with my friends where we were all discussing how wonderful and informative it has been over here in Canada. And uh, we just ended up discussing about how we used to take like wrong buses and sometimes end up in the right destinations, but sometimes not then and how we eventually uh, sort of figured it out how to use it and that thought just made me realize that i should really talk about how to use berry transit and not just that but how to travel outside of berry so this video is about how you can travel outside of berry and how you can travel inside of berry and before I start talking about it, I would like to remind you guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon and let's jump into it. So first, I want to talk about how the fares and passes are used to travel in Berry Transit. So as a full time student in Georgian College, we have like a U pass which costs around $90 and it's already included in our fees. So we just have to get our plastic one card and we have to just tap, uh, we just have to tap when we step inside the bus and usually this one card takes around 24 hours to get activated but sometimes it activates like before even 24 hours so don't panic it should eventually work within 24 hours so there are other options as well to travel in berry transit like there are types of passes which you can use like one of them is individual day pass which costs around eight dollars which is just for a day you can travel and use any of the conventional buses from downtown or any other stop then there are family day pass which can be used for a group of four or less and should have maximum of two adults seniors or students and it costs around nine dollars fifty cents for a day then there are three types of monthly pass like one is adult then the second one is student and the third one is senior monthly pass it varies according to the age group like adult monthly pass is for 89 dollars whereas the student monthly pass is for 68 dollars and the senior monthly pass is for 53 dollars for a month and all this monthly pass are only accepted if you have like a valid photo id with you so carry it when you are riding the bus then there is another option which is a ride card which offers you like a 10 rides in total and they also are divided into three age groups like adult student and senior for adult it costs around 28 dollars for student it costs 24 and for seniors it costs 21 dollars it's it's like you have to scratch one ride in front of the bus operator and you might ask for a transfer if you need one and in total you get like 10 rides and after that you have to buy a new one of course so you can also travel in berry transit uh, by paying uh, cash like for adults you have to pay three dollars and 25 cents which is also for student and children which are 13 plus age then for seniors it's three dollars and yeah so in this you can also ask for transfer if you want one uh, it's usually used when you have to take like two or three buses so this transfer actually works for like i think 75 minutes and after that you can't use it you just have to you like you just have to scan that barcode which is given on the transfer ticket and you can just ride on to the bus so you can ask for a transfer if you want one uh, when you have like a 10 ride card or if you pay fare by cash and this transit actually works for just 75 minutes and after that it's not valid so this is like a transfer ticket 
which you get after paying your fare by cash or by scratching one ride on the ride card so this is like that and this is the barcode which you have to scan when you step inside the bus and this is like a monthly pass which i'm using currently and i don't have a hand ride card so this passes and ride cards you can all get it at like berry transit terminal then service berry at city hall and the third location is recreation center which can be sold at Allendale Recreation Center, East Bayfield Community Center and Peggy Hill Team Community Center. So these are the locations where you can find this monthly pass and ride cards. Now comes up another questions like how can I know which bus to take to my destination or at which bus stop should I take my bus from or at what time the bus would be reaching my bus stop. I have three options that can help you to answer all these questions. First, by using Google Maps. So in Google Maps, you just have to type in your destination and it gives you the list of all the possible buses that goes to your destination and it also tells you at which bus stop you can get that bus. But it does also this one more feature which tells you that if the bus is going to be delayed or it's on time. Second option is to text on this phone number. So what you have to text is the bus stop number which is given in the white rectangle on every bus stops. So after texting the bus stop number on this phone number, you can find out all the buses that would be arriving on that bus stop and at what time they would arriving on that stop. Third option is to go on Berry Transit website and click on Berry Transit system map. This helps you to find out which bus to take at your destination and it also helps you to find out at which bus stop you can find that bus. It also helps you to find out at what time that bus will be reaching that bus stop. Now the question comes up, how to travel outside of Berry? I generally use Go Transit to travel outside of Berry. There are three ways you can use this Go Transit. First, you can buy a ticket by booking it online from Go Transit website or you can get it from ticket vending machines which are on Go Transit stops as well. Second, you can buy a Presto card. I have got my Presto card from Downtown Berry Terminal. It usually costs you around $5 to get the card and then you have to put certain amount on that Presto card to travel by using it. You can also get your Presto card from Shoppers Drug Mart according to my knowledge. But I checked into Shoppers Drug Mart but they don't issue Presto card in case of Berry. Third option is to use your credit card. Yeah. You can also use your credit card in the same place where you use your Presto card. You can also use your credit card which is on mobile wallet. However, I think it's better to get a Presto card if you are a student because it gets you 40% discount of adult fare as you have a Presto card which is under student account. So if you want to get a Go bus, you can either get it from downtown Berry terminal or from Allendale Waterfront Go or from Berry South Go station. But if you want to get a Go train, you have to go to Allendale Waterfront Go or to Berry South Go. First, I used to prefer buses, but now I've got to know about trains. And trust me, trains are really good. It takes me around one hour to reach Toronto and it just costed me around $6. Whereas when I used to travel in buses, it used to take me 2 hours and 30 minutes to just reach Yorktale and it used to cost me around 9 or 10 dollars. So I think trains are much more faster and convenient than buses. So yeah, that's how much I have learned until now. Hope this helps you to understand how you can travel inside and outside of Barrie. Thank you guys for watching please if you guys have any question ask me in the comment section below and please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon and i'll see you next time bye